When I was uh, approached initially by Thomas Fulin and Jessica Kiger, I was very excited because one of the goals uh, of my administration over the creative and performing arts has been to bring new and innovative programming to the college. There's only a handful of companies have really reached out to do what the Atlanta Opera is doing, and that is to reach out to underserved communities. And as such, uh, I thought it would be very important for Morehouse to partner with this kind of an effort because it seemed so important with respect to creating a path for the presentation of works composed by people of color. Bringing all of this, the Atlanta Opera, to the Ray Charles uh, Performing Arts Center, to Morehouse College in an African-American community, hopefully we can get um, interest so that the African-Americans uh, can feel like, hey, opera is for us as well. I think when you are performing something on a historical site, you do have the power of that site within you. You know what I mean? So there is something extremely exhilarating about doing this <laughs> at Morehouse, about doing this in the Ray Charles Performing Arts Center, of course. I mean, that's needless to say, it is extremely exciting. It also is a weight on my shoulders that I'm happy to bear. I'm proud of the Atlanta Opera uh, over the years, so I encourage them to continue to do the kinds of things that they do because it is meaningful for this city and with the size of the population of African Americans that they continue to try and represent all facets of our community on the stage, behind the stage, in the managerial tier, and certainly in the audiences.